Okay, everyone, I hope you can hear me. This is Ellen Jaffe Jones, and this is the first time that I am doing this broadcast, and hopefully it is coming in loud and clear where you are. I see that actually there's one person watching. So, um, I can see comments. If you have anything you'd like to share, please feel free to drop it in the comments, and I will multitask. Um, doing this. I am basically doing this as a, uh, upon the request of a friend of mine, Helene. Uh, and if any of you know her on social media, she is an amazing person, does all these incredible things, basically organizing just as many veg fests as possible as one person can humanly do. And um, as a result of COVID and everything kind of going into a virtual world, even though things are starting to get back to real life, um, I've been doing more online talks and presentations and classes. And so today I just want to open it up to you. I've been a vegan for 41 years, most of that time, except for some misguided information from OBGYNs who said, oh, we're going to cause brain damage to that unborn fetus if you don't feed it whey protein. I'm sorry. Then I became a religion league leader of breastfeeding information and support and realized, well, we don't really need to be giving the milk of another species to our own children, especially human children, uh, especially before they're born. Anyway, so much more information that we know now. And I've also been a runner for all of that time. Uh, again, on and off when I was pregnant with my three kids, I was more into yoga and, and biking. I had a little thing on the back of the bike that I could take the kids along for. And, and to this day, they all three of them love biking. So that, that sort of has been my short journey. And in the process, I've written six books. Uh, this was book number one, and I'm really going to get into this today because this is, it's enjoying, even it was my first, even though it was my first book, it's really enjoying to go back for reasons I probably don't have to tell you, mainly the price of non-vegan food, then Kitchen Divided, when you live with somebody who doesn't eat the way you do, and then if you must do the high protein diets, I wanted a vegan interpretation of it. Some people got angry with me, but oh, that's their problem because we need to address all of the possible ways or excuses that people uh, might give for not going vegan, which is, oh, you know, can't, um, can't do this uh, because I have to go on my paleo diet. So we invented the, I invented the vegan version of it. And then because of all the running and yes, I'm going to be 70 in a few months and have placed in 254 5K or longer races for my age group since 2006, just on plants because somebody once told me at a race, oh, you can't run a race on a vegan diet. So I set out to set that record straight. And uh, just at the recent National Senior Games, out of all seven track events that you could enter, I was the only one who entered all seven track events and placed in three of them. And book number five, Vegan Sex, which I co-authored with a vegan cardiologist, Dr. Joel Kahn. And he deals with the medical research part of it. I, do, I dealt with the experiential part because I had my first vegan experience at the age of 62 after being told all my life with all my non-vegan partners, ah, you know, erectile dysfunction is a normal part of the aging process. Well, no, actually, it's the leading indicator of heart disease by as much as 30 years. So uh, that was my experience. And it was so mind-blowing, not for me, but... Um, just in subsequent time after that, and it, it works for women too, that I just thought I got to write about this. So I was lucky to find a vegan cardiologist who would write the medical part of it to give it more credibility, which it, it did. My publisher, we actually self-published and my publisher said he didn't think they'd had on sex before, didn't sell. But then at the Portland Veg Fest, when he saw how fast it was flying off the shelf, he said, look, look I think I'll buy the rights to it if, that, if you're still good with that. And we did because, you know, they can, a publisher, even in today's day and age, can help with the distribution. All right. So the last one is vegan for one single serving recipes because we waste too much time and too much food in this country preparing for an army when it may just be one or two of us. So again, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. This is, as I mentioned at the beginning of this, the first time I'm doing this and Helene 
who is the organizer uh, and set all this up for me because tech is just, I mean, I can do it, but I just, I would rather be shooting a YouTube video. So, <laughs> and I have been doing a lot of that because the price of food is through the roof. But here's the deal. As I mentioned in Eat Vegan on $4 a day, you can just still eat so cheaply. And what blew my mind, I'm like driving down the road and I have Sirius XM in my car trying to listen to the news while I'm driving around news from credible sources. And uh, CNN was interviewing somebody about um, oh, from Costco saying how they are fighting inflation. They are not raising the price of some monster drink, uh, tea drink that they sell, and they're not raising the price of hot dogs. <gasps> really? Okay, well, that's just so awesome. But here's the deal. The price of any kind of meat, and um, I'm going to just try an experiment here and see if I can share my screen with you. Um, and if this works, great. If not, uh, I'm getting like, okay, it's with two monitors. All right, well, let's just try this. If it doesn't work, um, oh, now it wants to go to system preferences. Okay. Yeah. We're not going to do that. Well, you're just going to have to take my, let's see if this will work here. Um, no, it still wants to go to system preferences. Okay. Well, let's just talk visually. I bought this bag of rice this morning for about $7. So this bag of rice, a serve of a serving of rice is a fourth cup dry, which cooks into a half cup of, uh, of, of cooked rice. That is about a dime a serving. Same is true for beans. Uh, some of the beans are starting to inch up, but for the most part, kidney beans, black beans, I checked these out at our grocery store this morning. Grocery store uh, here in, in Florida is Publix for the most part, and they are more expensive than Walmart. And when I wrote Eat Vegan on $4 a day, every recipe in here has an estimated price based on ingredients you can find at Walmart. So everything up here is, is an estimated price. So I calculated the price of beans, the price of rice, and any other ingredient that might go in a recipe and, and then divided it by the number of servings. And that's how I came up what the price per serving would be. I also used to be a TV consumer reporter still following the consumer price index. So this bag of rice, still ridiculously cheap, 20 servings here. So you get a lot out of this bag of rice versus how many of us are into convenience food. So this morning I was leaving the dentist, yeah, and then just had to have something to eat. So this whole, this was one of the rice wraps that Publix sells. And I think these are pretty standard around. So same price, $7 uh, for this single serving that I didn't have to cook or prepare myself for this whole bag of rice of 20 servings. So that is definitely one way to cheap out uh, in these, these very tough times, no matter if you're vegan or not. I mean, just the price of gas or grass um, is, is just through the roof. So if you have any uh, tips that you'd like to share in the comments about how you're saving money during these tough times, I'm sure we would all love to hear what you're doing because these are the times that try men and women's souls. And uh, I just, I know somebody who just filled out, filled up with gas yesterday and said, oh, and I, I don't know how much more I can do this. We're really going to have to start biking more because it's like 90 to a hundred dollars to fill up uh, your tank. And is this going to come down soon? I mean, the answer from our government is to deplete our, our reserves of oil to artificially bring down the prices for a while until the next election. I don't know. So these are the kinds of things that uh, as a vegan, we are struggling with um, you know, bargain kinds of foods. And of course, beans and rice or beans and whole grains. I mean, even whole grains, grains are a whole lot cheaper. And what I was hoping to show you is it, my first, my very first PowerPoint, because I was using PowerPoint instead of Keynote back in the day, in March of 2011, I took a picture of the price of uh, kidney uh, uh, pinto beans at Walmart and 4.7 cents an ounce. And I went back this week and it is exactly the same. So that's eight cents a serving cook up. Uh, it's two ounces dry, cooks up into four ounces cooked for, for pinto beans. And uh, 
sure, you know, if you want to go with organic, it might be a little more, although not necessarily. It just depends on the product. So if you have been um, shopping around and looking for different kinds of products that are, you know, helpful and are helping you stay on track with your budget, please feel free to let us know. I mean, one of the things I do, and, you know, you would think, okay, vegan book author, you got all these recipes, you, you know, your house is gourmet central. Well, sometimes it is. Like last night I went to town and just did, a, in fact, um, I was putting another slideshow together for a class I'm teaching tonight on Get Set Up. If any of you are connected to that platform, and uh, so with my vegan boyfriend, we went up to St. Petersburg this weekend, and I swear we must have stopped at six different places just to get something to eat. And so Vegan Street, which is this great market, vegan marketing company with Marla Rose and John Besky. I don't know if any of you are connected with them, but they have just these amazing memes. And they are fine with you borrowing them, letting you uh, use them for whatever, as long as you give them credit, which, you know absolutely you should do, but they've helped companies over the years, vegan companies become even stronger and better. So one of their memes was, it, had, it was side by side of a woman sleeping on a train and it said uh, something like, normal person um, going on a one day excursion and she had her eyes closed. And the next picture was same woman um, whose eyes are wide open looking at a book, vegan going to uh, a city deciding to eat at six different vegan restaurants. And, you know, that's kind of what we did. So we ate a lot on Sunday. So yesterday uh, it was all about having a raw. And I did this with things from our garden. So if you have a garden and you are uh, looking at that for things to you know, grow so that you don't have to be buying stuff at the store, um, would love to hear what you're growing in your garden. So what are we growing? Uh, cherry tomatoes, a little hard here in a Florida summer, doing some things in an earth box. And um, of course, all kinds of spices, they're doing well. Yes, I did fertilize them with whatever earth box sends out. They do have an or organic box. And let me know if any of you have tried using uh, an earth box. It's sort of like, if you haven't used one, it's like the size of a recycle bin with a PVC pipe that goes down to the bottom so that you can fill with dirt except there's like a grate on the bottom it keeps the roots um, from getting root rot and having direct contact with the, wa the water so things grow pretty well in there and um, it's not exactly cheap to get one of those but if you keep using it year to year like i already grew some squash in there earlier in the season and they were like it looked like jack and the beanstalk out in the back it was i had them in a covered porch because we have lots of animals around here who like to eat these great vegetables too. And the vines of the squash, it was like growing up on the screen. I mean, it was really kind of creepy after a while, but the vines were even attaching themselves. They wanted to grow so much. They were growing uh, into, trying to grow into the concrete on the, the bottom of this thing. Anyway, uh, so earth boxes are a great way. They have a website if you don't have access to buying earth boxes in your community. And um, so lots of herbs, parsley, uh, garlic chives, um, thyme, sage, all those things are doing pretty well now. And that is one way of, if you eat a lot of it, and basil, of course, basil does crazy. Basil is like the weed you can't kill. Um, but those are one way, that's one way of eating your greens. And uh, you know, you don't think of basil like a spinach, but it's kind of the same color. So lots of good nutrients from eating fresh herbs if you can do that. And it's kind of a way of not um, planting something and killing it immediately. <laughs> I think I got a, like two or three zucchinis and summer squash from the earth box. And, uh, and then they just kind of took off and then they didn't grow anymore because I think they weren't they were trying to plug into the concrete, which obviously wasn't giving the plant very many nutrients. And the earth box just wasn't, I think, big enough. But you do what you can. And um, so we're going to be doing this every Tuesday at 2 Eastern time. And just looking at different ways of spreading the vegan message, because so many people need to hear this message, just you know, from a standpoint of having a more compassionate world. You know, if we see one more mass shooting, it's just like it's kind of beyond reality of what's happening in our world and how are we not teaching our young 
to be more compassionate. Uh, so that is one way of, of trying to spread the message is having these platforms and helping people, uh, especially if you're new to the vegan party. It's always been my passion to help people in some form or fashion with some new marketing way. If it's, if it's not their wallet, maybe it's through fitness. So if you have questions about, I do what I do. So running at almost 70 and went to the dentist this morning and the dental hygienist who had been called in to help because the previous hygienist was, was out on maternity leave. She, she just looked at me and she said, my God, you're my age. So these kinds of um, messages just need to get out that we can be healthy and thriving as we age, that we can spend decades on a vegan diet, we can be pregnant and, and have babies on a vegan diet, uh, as long as it's you know reasonably healthy and you know, what that means, it can be different things to different people and however it works, we're, we're all about it. All right, so every week at Tuesdays, two o'clock Eastern time, if you have things you'd like me to talk about, I'm pretty well versed um, as, as my work has taken me to different places around the world. And I've gotten to meet a number of vegan authors and speakers and business women like Miyoko Skinner, Artisan Vegan Cheese and Miyoko's Creamery uh, was just a dream once in her head. So if you have a dream and I can help you either answer the questions you might have about veganism or something you've been struggling with, please do let me know, or if you have a topic you'd like me to hear, uh, like me to research further for you, for you um, um, I'm still wearing that reporter's hat, just trying to figure out the truth about food. And what, um, you know, for me, my mom, aunt, and both sisters had breast cancer. We were part of the breast cancer gene studies. And if any of you have been following today's news on the Hubble, uh, it was the Hubble telescope out in space now replaced by another better higher res and the pictures that have been coming back you know most likely we're not alone so maybe some other universe has figured this all out but in the meantime until we are able to work with the crystal ball and figuring out the future i'm thinking that going vegan is the best answer for the planet the animals and of course our health. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Got to run. And uh, let me hear from you. Vegcoach.com is a good way to reach me. Or if you're watching me live on other platforms, um, you can always message me through Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or wherever your favorite platform is. All right, everyone. Thanks again. Got to run.